first backpacking trip. So we are <laughs> we're super excited um, to be out here, and uh, we're just gonna do a short, quick overnight since she's never done it before. Um, she's been hiking with me, but never overnight. So what we are doing is uh, we just dropped my car off at the Jackson Road Trailhead uh, for the Knobstone, and we are going down to the north, uh, sort southern terminus at Deems Lake and uh, we are going to do um, just the six miles so we're going to hopefully go in three miles camp by um, the creek and then we will hike out uh, the three miles uh, to Jackson Road Trailhead so uh, we are on our way to the southern terminus now and I will see you guys when we get there guys so we are here at the Deem Lake trailhead um, so we just got started and what we're gonna do tonight is we're gonna hike all the way up here to around mile three um, there's a creek here that we can camp by and then in the morning we will hike out to our car um, which is another three miles at the Jackson Road trailhead so um, we just got it started here. It's about quarter after five, I believe. And um, it's about 90 degrees, but it doesn't feel like 90. So since we're shaded, I guess it feels better. But um, let's see what the trail has for us. We are walking across the dam at Deems Lake and the swimming area is packed. <laughs> it is a hot day, so I figured it would be, but um, so we're just hiking along. <laughs> it's beautiful out here today. Um, we've got two more to go to make it to camp and it is hot out here um, but we should we have plenty of water it won't um, we're drinking it up I got some electrolytes in my um, water bottle and um, we're now far enough that we can't hear the the people at swimming at the pool um, it was quite loud and quite crowded um, so now it's just us and nature. <laughs> so we'll uh, see you in a little bit. Mile marker two. <sighs> that one came quick. So we got one mile left um, <clears throat> before we get to camp, and um, and this is officially further than I've gone on this end of the trail. Um, you may remember I did the first two miles like out and back on um, for my first hike of the year. So this is further than I've been, other than the loops at the northern terminus I've done those hey guys we just made it to camp it's at um, 2.73 miles um, it's Bowery Creek that we are by and um, I'll show you around once we get set up and stuff um, it took us about an hour and 45 minutes to get here which I was thinking about two hours so that's pretty good um, and uh, there, the water is not flowing here in the creek, um, but there is um, water for you to, to, to get. So um, I was a little worried we didn't see any water on the way here, but there is water here. It's just not flowing. 
um, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. There's just water. <laughs> so, um, it's really hot. There was a couple of um, big steep hills, which the knobstone's known for. Um, tomorrow will be um, a little harder. There are bigger hills to get to the top of the two knobs we're going on. Um, round knob and Bartle knob, I, I believe is what they are. But um, yeah, I'm going to take a break and cool off and then we're going to set up camp and I'll show you around. Our, um, we have our camp set up pretty much. Um, Emily's scooping out, cleaning out the campfire for us. It, it was mounding um, pretty high with ashes and stuff. So we're going to clean that out and put that out in the woods somewhere. But um, just wanted to show you around. Um, I got all my stuff that I need for the night. Um, my food bag is here. We're going to be eating here in a minute. Um, got my chair out, which I love. It's so comfy. <laughs> and then here's um, our tent. So um, it's a two-person tent that I bought from Walmart at Ozark Trail. I love it. Um, it's warm enough that we're, and there's no chains of rain. We're not putting the rain fly on. But um, I wanted you to see there's just enough room for the both of us in here. Um, and we've got room at the bottom to put our packs if we want. Um, and then, but I want to show you, and I'll do a review on this, hopefully. Um, this is my new pack um, that I got because on the last trip, on the Shell Toby Trace trip, um, my hip belt broke and I had to get a new pack. So this is the Osprey Lumina 60, and I love it. It's lightweight. Um, it's everything I need pretty much in a pack. Um, I am so, so in love with this pack <laughs> so far. So I have it packed down, even though I didn't need probably as much weight as I had in it for just an overnight, I wanted to make sure I had it packed full so I would know if I really liked it and I do so far. But I wanted to show you the creek. <laughs> this is Bowery Creek. So as you can see, it's pretty dry. It's not flowing in any sort of way, but over here there is water. There's like little places like this water right here there's more water down here you know little spots here and there so we're going to be able to collect water for the morning um but it's beautiful we still got maybe another hour before it gets dark we're going to try and get a campfire and uh, fix our food and i'll show you what we end up fixing for dinner um it's going to be yummy so yeah, I say this is a pretty perfect campsite. It'd be nice if there was more water we could cool off in the creek maybe, but <laughs> maybe in the we'll come back here for a spring trip maybe. So, anyways, we'll we'll see you in a little bit when I get um dinner ready. So, this is what Emmy's having for dinner. It's yummy. She's got white cheddar broccoli rice. And how you liking it, Emmy? Pretty good. Good. And then I'm having my refried beans. They're still crunchy, so I'm waiting for them to soften up a little bit. And then I've got um, some chili cheese Fritos. And then I like to put the beans on the naan. That's going to be really good. And then I just put some sauce in the beans. So just waiting on that to get done. We went down and filtered more water um, down in the creek. And so we're just chilling. We're getting ready to make a fire, I think. Yes. <laughs> so in the last video, you would have seen we were struggling to get a fire going. And... Uh, we were just sitting around here like, oh, I wish we had Doritos because those are a good fire starter. And then Emily says, well, you have Fritos. That will work. And this is what we have. <laughs> so thankfully, um, I brought some Fritos to go with my, my uh, beans for dinner. And uh, that helped us. We just put a few in the fire and, and this is what we got now. So... Thankfully, we've got some fire. Um, for a minute, I did lose my lighter um, when we were trying to start the fire. 
Um, but Emily found it in the food bag. I just was missing it. I, did, I didn't see it for some reason. But thankfully, Emily here, she's she saved the day. Good morning. Um, it's almost eight o'clock. Um, I've been up for a couple of hours now. I'm just chilling um, in my camp chair and uh, listening to the birds and um, everything. Uh, last night, um, I was pretty restless. Um, it was extremely quiet. Um, there weren't any crickets, tree frogs, bread, bur bread, birds. <laughs> Um, it was just dead silent, um, so it made it kind of hard to sleep because every little noise that you did hear, um, whether it was the leaves rustling or whatever, it was, it just kept me up. Um, but I did get some sleep, um, woke up almost six o'clock, so been up for a couple hours and, um, Emily just got up a little bit ago. She's got some coffee and kind of getting some of her stuff together. So here's my breakfast. Um, the drink here, um, I fixed this as soon as I got up this morning. It's the first time I've done this. It's Carnation, um, I think Mocha Cafe or something like that. Um, it's one of the instant breakfast. Um, it's got Nido in it and then a packet of Starbucks Via coffee. Um, it's super, super good. I would definitely do this again in the mornings to kind of wake me up. And then um, my oatmeal here, um, it's kind of a mixture of various different things. So um, it is apple cinnamon oatmeal. There's apple cinnamon granola. Then there's homemade granola that I made. Um, and it's got all kinds of stuff in that. And then I also put a pack of honey in it um, to kind of sweeten it. And it is so good. Um, I'm almost done with it. I've only got a couple bites left. And then um, I think Emily's got banana nut oatmeal and she's got some Starbucks via latte, like pumpkin spice um, coffee. So we're just going to sit here and enjoy our breakfast. There's no rush to get out other than to beat the heat. Um, you know, we had something we were supposed to do. I was supposed to do this afternoon, but it, I think it's been canceled. Um, so we are just chilling. Um, so we'll see you around camp. Maybe when we're putting things away and stuff, I'll show you some of that. Hey guys, we are on the trail. It is um, almost nine o'clock. It's 67 degrees. And uh, we're getting ready to climb almost 300 feet in elevation over the next two miles um, so it'll be our biggest climb of this trip and um, I think that goes to the top of Bartle Knob and uh, um, but we both seem to have slept okay last night and got everything packed up and had our breakfast and filled up on water and you know all that good stuff it's gonna be a good day
guys. We are almost to the top. I can, I think it's right over here. But coming up, um, we <laughs> came around the corner in a grassy area and uh, a black snake went running off the side of the trail. Scared me to death. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was really quick, but and he got off the trail quick. I obviously scared him as much as he scared me. So, but um, we... Um, are definitely almost at the top here. I really do think it's right over here. You're able to see a lot more of the sky now. <sighs> Give you a 360 view here. We're just taking a breather after being scared. <sighs> so <sighs> I'm gonna get me something to drink and then we're gonna climb the rest of this up. Um, we just sat here at this campsite and took a break and ran into a day hiker and a couple of runners, trail runners, and um, talked with them for a minute. That was nice. And now we're headed down this steep way right here. I'm out of breath. We just went up a really steep hill. We went down steep, came up steep. Now we're at Bartle Knob Road. I think we have like a half a mile to a mile left. We're just going to go. You can either turn left here at the road and it'll lead you to the trailhead or you can continue down the trail here and take a another trail off of this to go to the trailhead so we're going to keep pushing forward Whew. but I think we're going to catch our breath real quick <laughs> so we'll see you here in a little bit Jackson Trailhead um, sign. So the knob stone keeps going straight, but we are going this way. Um, we just stopped for a little break, filled up on some water. We only have a half a mile left, but I believe it's all probably uphill and some of it's going to be exposed. And I only had a half liter water left, so I cambled up a little bit and we're set to go. So we're going to finish this strong. We'll see you at the top. We made it to the car. Oh my God. Whew. That uphill was torture. All oh, sun. Oh my God. But we made it. Overall, wonderful hike. That last half a mile was a killer. <laughs> Emmy, would you do it again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're going home. <laughs> See y'all next time.